Throughout my life, I've often thought myself to be rather insignificant in the grand scheme of things, as but a tiny grain of sand amongst billions of others, wondering if I'll ever have a moment to shine. I joined the Brony fandom more than two years ago, and as of today, I've been uploading MLP videos for exactly one year. And while I have been enjoying all the opportunities to improve upon my talents, inspire others in their own creative works, and become more social than I've ever been in my entire life, I never knew just how powerful an impact I had left upon the fandom until just over a week ago. Despite my good standing with YouTube, a complete lack of copyright strikes, and not a single warning given, my channel had been taken down, and I wondered whether I had just lost all the work I had been putting in over these many months. I didn't feel angry, but I admit that I was feeling confused, hurt, and even lost. Most of all, though, I wondered if I'd be able to inspire others on such a grand scale ever again. But my feelings of despair did not last long, for throughout the community my plea had been heard, and many, many other voices began sounding the call. The news had been spreading so far and so fast, I was overwhelmed by all the response. Equestria Daily had posted in an article, my fellow reviewers were making videos in droves, and I was getting countless messages from complete strangers encouraging me with their support and advice. I was deeply touched by everyone's efforts, and it gave me the strength to persevere. And what's more amazing is the fact that the right people at YouTube began to take notice of all these emails being sent to them from thousands of others in the Brony fandom. It was because the news was being spread so far and so fast that YouTube took a closer look at the issue and reinstated my channel within a couple of days. No explanation on why my channel had been taken down in the first place, but I didn't really care. I was given another chance, and I was looking forward to creating far more content for the future. But out of everything that happened, I think the greatest benefit we were given from the experience belongs to the Brony fandom itself. We stand together. We strive together. We grow and improve and inspire together. I have no doubt that there are those who would hear these words and shake their head in disbelief, but I have been given first-hand experience on just what happens when the unexpected crisis comes along. Our welcoming atmosphere may help to invite others to take a look at what we do, but it is our deep resolve that keeps us from faltering. I know that there is an immense camaraderie and creativity here. I have seen countless others among the Brony fandom innovate and entertain. I've spent endless hours online going through one amazing project after another, and it was because I saw how many people would stand together in the face of so much hate for enjoying a show about pastel-colored ponies that I felt inspired to stand with them contribute to the fandom in my own way. I took that step, and I constantly encourage others to do the same. Because the Brony community is still the most welcoming, engaging, creative, and dedicated fandom I have ever come across on the internet, I saw its merits long before I decided to join in their fun, and I have been doing my utmost to make the Brony community better in my own way. And really, there are so many, many ways in which we contribute to this fandom. Stories, artwork, music, animations, conventions, the list goes on and on. We are striving to make a difference every time we take part. And that is what I want to encourage every one of you to do. Stand together. When you feel lost, hurt, and confused, stand together. Through all the times you feel insignificant amongst the endless sea of the internet, stand together. When you see others who are struggling to find hope and are in need of a friend, stand together. And most of all, when you feel that your contributions won't make any difference, when you worry that all your efforts will not measure up to those who have come before you, when you feel as though your self-confidence hangs by a thread, stand together. I am proud to call myself a brony. I have become far more than I ever thought I could be. And the more I strive to create, the more I improve upon my talents. I can do more. I can be more. And I hope that each of you will learn to do the same. Stand together. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.